What is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, I've got a really cool disc to test out with you guys here today. I have an Innova Proto Star Destroyer. The Destroyer has been by far the most popular distance driver in the sport of disc golf for a very long time. And it's got a very rich and sort of interesting development over the years. The first runs of Destroyer were actually in Champion Plastic. They had some bar stamp ones, some like football shape stamp ones. They had a Masters Cup stamp. And then they had the Night Shift Destroyers, which was kind of the first look we ever got to see at what star plastic would become. I guess the story is Innova employees were mixing plastics together while they were making discs at night. They came out with the Night Shift Destroyers, which were in a dark blue star pro type plastic. And then very soon after that, before the PFN Destroyers came out, we had these guys. So you don't see these Proto Star Destroyers very often. I was able to acquire one. Um, a friend of a friend gave it to my dad, and then my dad gave it to me. So now I have a Proto Star Destroyer. We'll give it a few throws, see if it's got any life left in it. Oh, yeah, she's still stable. And that is just a testament to the quality of Innova Star Plastic. The stuff absolutely just lasts forever. But one thing that's fun, I can guarantee you that. I'd say 95 to 99% of people who own one of these will not throw them. They try and keep them up on the wall, preserve them. But you know that's not what we're about here. We take these collectible discs and we see if they still have the gumption to fly well after all these years. Not a great rip. She's still very stable, very stable for me. The Innova Destroyer basically has a run for everybody. If you want the flippy ones, you can get the Echo Star Destroyers. They come in a ton of different weights. If you want super stable, you can go for Star or you can go with Champ Destroyers. Or if you want a stable Star Destroyer, you can go with the Paul Macbeth. If you want a Star Destroyer that's a little flippier, that's not an Echo Star, you can go with the three line Avery Jenkins Destroyers. They have so many different options out there. And if you throw enough runs of Destroyer, you'll eventually find a run that flies perfectly for you. All right, let's give it a little bit of a flick here. I'll put on some Annie and see. It still has that forehand stability. A little high. <laughs> Off the bridge. Uh-oh. All right, let's get a little better rip on it here. There it is, that's a lot better. Man, considering that's even pre-flight pre number destroyers, I think it's so stable considering how beat up and how used it is. Um, so we'll take a good look at the profile here. Not too domey, not too flat, a little bit of a dome, but certainly not a pop top. It's also not super aggressive under the wing here. Um, not too concave, not too convex, just somewhere right in the middle. This actually reminds me a lot of the profile of the Ricky Raptor Legs Destroyers with the uh, T-Rex, I believe, on them. This profile reminds me a lot of how those came out, and it flies quite similar as well. Let's, let's do a better forehand here. Let's really chop some Annie on this bad boy. There it is. That's how you throw it. Caught a little bit of a tree, but pretty happy with that shot. It doesn't have... A, a ton of dome. I had some green factory second star destroyers that had like two to three times the dome. Like these things were super tall and I got them on, they do like a $6 star destroyer factory second sale once a year. And all the green ones had this like crazy pop top. I've never found a destroyer I like more than those pop top green star destroyers. Those are my favorite by far. All right, we'll give this guy one more backhand. But very cool piece of Innova history. Innova's been one of the you know most consistent and longest lasting brands in the sport of disc golf, right next to DGA, um, Discraft, and a few other brands have come and gone since then. But Innova has you know stood the test of time, and they seem to be growing year in and year out. We'll give this guy one last throw, and then we'll wrap up the video. There we go. That was probably my best backhand of the day on it. 
At some point in time in most people's disc golf career, they found at least one Star Destroyer that they really loved. Um, for some people, it's probably those proto runs. For a lot of people, it's the Avery Jenkins run. Um, that's probably the most unanimously decided best run of Star Destroyer. There's also the pre-flight number ones that are penned Star D in the middle of the disc. Um, some people like the Halo ones. Some people like certain runs of Calvin's. But most of the old school players will tell you that there's no destroyer like Proto Destroyers, um, Avery Jenkins Destroyers, and pre-flight number penned Star D Destroyers. But anyway, I know a lot of you guys like to learn about the history of disc golf on this channel. And I like to learn about that stuff as well. You guys are watching Iceberg TV. Thank you so much for watching my channel and take care.